Look at this, more amazing trail magic. Thank you so much, Padre. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, don't throw up. No promise. You ready? Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, I might fucking ask. You did that so easily. I'm glad to know I can do it now. <laughs> Did you get to that point where you wanted to Here. eat an egg? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I've been wanting to for a while. I just haven't done it yet. Oh, well, you know. Know. So my zipper on this left side has uh, broken. So that is one thing. And then I'm starting to get tearing, which I don't think it's, you know, the structure is fine, but I'm going to sew these up just so it doesn't get more torn, but otherwise, pack is working good. Raccoon, shoot a hole <laughs> through this part, and uh, almost a thousand miles. You waste less space that way too. Yeah, yeah. Time just fills the holes. Yeah, yeah. that looks yeah. yeah, yeah, and I mean, I mean, it's grams, right? Grams yeah. end up being ounces when you've got like sixteen. Have you ever seen somebody who will pull stuff out yeah, and yeah, end up have fifteen stuff, stuff sacks, and I'm like. That right there is probably a half a pound in stuff sacks. Yeah. You know? well, we had an incredible time. Probably the most fun we've had off trail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Padre. <laughs> yeah, Thank right. you yeah. so much. No, I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad we uh, yeah. we were able to hook up. I can get you guys up the trail. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, that no, was yeah. Really incredible. Really one of the best trail and drill experiences that I've ever had. Sometimes, like, you know, people are super nice and you wanna hang out with them, but sometimes it gets to be a lot talking with people but uh yeah with padre and jen and them like we just had so much fun hanging out for a really long time yeah <laughs> we've had some incredible trail magic the last week but man that stay with padre was really fun and came at the perfect time because yesterday got up to 100 degrees in front royal today got up to 98 so we just hid in the basement in the air conditioning all day napped watched some more movies and you can see like i am so sweaty already i've only been hiking for maybe a mile so 7 p.m still 94 degrees in front royal and the plan is just to go all night and into the next day get to harper's ferry at like 45 miles from here about 9,000 feet of gain I think what I'm gonna do is transition this hike over to like a extreme Appalachian adventure fun hike. Just do these crazy big days and um, hang out with people and have an awesome time. Because yeah, I don't really feel the need to keep trying to keep my budget super tiny. Um, I wanna spend some more on food and yeah, just spend time with trail angels and other people you know just have fun like uh that's what i feel like i want to do now and i think that's important to you know not get super stuck to some original plan on your hike um, and let that kind of ruin your fun you just got to be able to flow with what interests you at the time you know in the beginning it's pretty pretty stoked about the budget hike and i am still interested in testing out this gear like I'll make a update video pretty soon, but gear's all holding up pretty well. But uh, yeah, kind of after my medical thing and taking time off trail, I'm just not interested in counting, pinching the pennies anymore. So I'm still gonna keep track of my expenses, keep things low. It'll still be a very cheap hike. Probably be more realistic as far as uh, replicating it for other people. So I feel a little something in my heel, you know, where I had my infection. And rather than just let it go, when we're trying to do 45 miles, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bandage on it now before, I don't know, a blister or something forms. It is hot. You can see the sweat just pouring down my face. It is 7 p.m. So yeah, when it's hot like this, not advisable to hike during the day. Uh, especially the humidity right now, it makes it feel much worse than 
like a 100 degree day on the PCT would feel. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about it now. We'll see how I feel when it gets to be about 2 or 3 a.m. Thirty three more miles. So, how's it going, Pyro? It's good. Eating Fritos. Now I'm going to eat this weird Szechuan gluten thing that I found. I got to get rid of that damn stove. Do you want to try going to Hawaii? So I'm gonna leave for a little bit on the 15th. Oh, cool. Yeah. Take like a week. Get out of here. <laughs> and I'll just kind of find wherever you are. Hmm. One AM entering the roller coaster. It is two AM and going up and down these hills I'm still drenched in sweat. Like it's just pouring off of me. So I can't imagine how bad this would have been earlier in the day. Look at that it is two thirty AM, just past the thousand mile mark, but I guess it's not I can't see anything with that on me. Uh, it's not a thousand miles for me because I skipped those 170 miles with my heel But uh, still yeah, it's a nice little marker and I'll be out of Virginia soon and It uh, really feels like the AT picks up its pace once you get out of Virginia Just a psychological thing, but yeah, the stakes come much faster and it really feels like it just builds up momentum until before you know it, you're in Maine, you're in Katahdin. to see the forest come alive in the morning. I should uh, get up for more of these sunrises. Although, I just don't do well waking up early. I would prefer to hike all the way through the night and stay up all night than to wake up at uh, 5 a.m. Actually, this is pretty enjoyable. I've been listening to Jason Isbell the last couple of hours. I should feel pretty good. I've got less than 20 miles to go now. And I've been drinking more than a liter of water every hour all night. So it's been incredibly hot at night still. Like, I don't think it dropped below 80 all night. And I don't know if you can tell if it's light enough, but I've got sweat just pouring down my face. And that should not be the case at 5 a.m. in the mountains. Like, there's no crisp mountain air right now. It is just hot. Uh, but. You know, staying hydrated, getting electrolytes, and just keeping it moving. And yeah, hopefully get into town before it gets too hot again today. It's also pretty cool to 
have the fitness and the confidence to just, you know, decide yesterday, like, hey, we're just gonna hike all night and do 45 miles. And uh, yeah, just do that. Like, that would not be, you know, a thing that 99.9% um, .9 of the population can just decide to do. So it's cool to have the level of fitness and you know, like the confidence and, you know, just hiking at night by yourself and all that to just decide to do it the next day and to do it and for it to be fine. Like, it really is not that bad at all. Uh, you know, because up until 1 or 2 a.m. you're not even all that tired. The most difficult part is just like 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. and then the light, you know, sun comes up and it's easy again. So it's really not that hard at all. And it's really fun and it's peaceful. And uh, yeah, and it feels like an adventure, you know? Like how many times do you get to <laughs> hike all night and see the sunrise? And uh, yeah, so I think that's cool. I like that about through hiking. Gives me that level of fitness and that level of confidence to do something that is objectively, yeah, for most people, like pretty crazy. You're gonna just go, go stay up all night and hike 45 miles, but it's not that big of a deal. I think we might do it again tomorrow night just to stay cool and keep up the miles. Chicken of the woods. This is the first chicken of the woods I found in Virginia. It's been so dry. It's been a real bad drought. So, yeah, mushrooms have not been not been growing, but Day 48, uh, 6.30 a.m. So I've been going for about 12 hours now. And uh, another state down. And I'm too tired to set up my tripod. Now I just gotta push, get into town before it gets too hot. Wow. What a morning. How much do you think that house is worth? Jeez. Oh boy, yeah. I took a little microdose. Uh, get me through the night and wow, what an incredibly beautiful sunrise. Beautiful morning. Totally worth it. I'm really happy that we hiked all night. This is probably one of my most fun days on the trail yet. Yes, that is the end of the roller coaster. They make a really big deal out of it, but I mean, compared to the rest of the trail down south, uh, roller coaster is really quite easy. Pretty good blackberries. It's 9 a.m. now, getting pretty tired. Got 10 miles left, so that means I've done 35 miles, about 8,000 feet of gain. And you know, on a normal day, that would be challenging, but this is having not slept at all at night. That makes it extra challenging. Ooh, that's a cool moth. This deer's like coming up to me. What do you want, deer? Huh? Got some chocolate milk, chicken wings, and some tea. 14 something. I have no idea what I even stepped through to get this dirty. 
off my legs, but geez, it's like I'm on the PCT. This is the Shenandoah River, and it is extremely low right now. It's a really bad drought, and I am also completely out of water, but I'll be in town very shortly. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. <laughs> Happy trails. You too.